Sissy. Hey everybody, it's me, Sissy. Back today, and we are going to try this paint pouring thing. I've seen so much of it on YouTube, I wanted to try it too because it looks so cool. But, we're going to do a comparison. I got the, um, let me find it, the pouring medium from Dollar Tree. I got some pouring medium apple barrel pouring medium this came from Walmart I got that and then I saw where you could use um, school glue or Elmer's glue but I think this is the wrong glue but we're gonna use it anyway I think you were supposed to use the all-purpose but we got school glue that's what we're gonna use so we're gonna do three pictures using the same paints each with a different pouring medium and we'll see what we're gonna do I'm gonna be using um, the Dollar, all this paint came from Dollar Tree except for this um, metallic silver. I thought we would add that in for some contrast, but I have the um, got white, orange, black, green, and um, purple. So we're going to try to do like Halloween y colors. So we're okay, going to so get started. Go ahead and mix our um, paint in our cups gonna shake it and see how thick it is um, supposed to get it where it's pouring consistency and I'm not sure this is mighty thick so so I'm gonna do equal parts paint and glue and then I'll add water if it still looks too thick That looks mighty thick. Right. I was worried this paint was going to be very thin, but it is really thick. So we're definitely going to have to add some water. That was an accident waiting to happen. Okay, well, um, probably, I know you're supposed to measure this, but I'm just eyeballing it, um, because this is just for fun. I am going to do one later on that I'm going to, like, be more, that, and the black paint is a lot thinner than the other colors have been so far, so we may have to put less water in it. Good shake first. And I know I'm probably mixing up way too much paint. Um, but we'll find something else to pour it on if we got a lot left. This was our white, and it is, it is very thick, so we're going to put a little bit of water. That looks 
looks like it drips pretty good so now we're going to do our what color was this this was our orange that's really thick too so I'll pour some water in that one Okay, so we have our paints all mixed and we're going to layer them in the cup so we're gonna paint mixed and our canvas ready and um we're just going to pour it on here let's see what kind of mess we can make i know i got way too much paint so So we got our paint on there, and I don't like how it mixed down there and made an ugly color, but now we're going to try to get our edges covered. Gonna go that way. y'all um i don't think that i think that's pretty good for a first try so um we're gonna put this to the side i'm gonna clean up my area right here and we'll go on to the next leftover um so i thought we would just pour it on this little canister i don't know if this will work or but we're gonna give it a try so we're just going to pour it straight down Okay, I don't think it's going to cover the sides all the way, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to mix this pouring medium in there. Um, there's no directions whatsoever. So... And it is very liquidy. Hmm. 
seems like when I mix it with the paint, it is thickening up. That's, hmm. That's my silver. Let's try the black and see. Didn't say anything about adding any water, but it's actually making the paint thicker than it was. So I'm not sure how this is going to work, y'all. has turned my green paint a lime looking color. Hmm. It, it won't even drip. Okay. We'll just add some more into each cup. And, you know, we'll work with what we got. Okay, we're going to put our paint in our cup, and y'all, I'm really worried this paint is so thick. But it doesn't say to add water, so we're just going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to layer the different colors in. Parchment paper in it. A little riser. This time we're just going to pour it in the middle and let it run off. So here we go. I see the black has taken over. Wow. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. Okay, so we're going to roll this around and see if we can get some of that black out of there.
I like this corner up here in the top over here. Wow, I really like this one. I didn't like how that foreign medium was mixing, but it looks really good. And I really like this down here. And um, I've got a little tiny canvas that I was going to put a picture on for my dollhouse. So hold on just a second, y'all. We're going to try something else in this video. I don't know if my camera can zoom in on it, but there is some paint right down here that I mean the design and it's gorgeous and I have these little tiny canvases um, I got for my dollhouse I don't even this is a two by three and I am going to try to get that on my canvas so let's see how what am I gonna do okay I'm gonna get a glove first And then some of this other paint, I'm just going to do, just dip the edges of my canvas in this other paint. Okay, okay. and then I'm going to take my canvas. I do this with one hand because I have one glove, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to take my canvas. And then I'm going to press it down into this paint. Oh, I lost all of it. But it's still pretty. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's a little mini one, so I'm just going to let it kind of drip off the edge over there. And there we go. I have a little art piece for uh -huh. my dollhouse. All right, y'all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this over to where I have it drying and get cleaned up, and then we can go to the next one. to use the apple barrel pouring medium and we're going to read the instructions if we can find any okay shake well mix equal amounts of pouring medium and paint okay equal 
All right, so it says shake well, so we're going to shake this bad boy up. Okay, we're going to fast forward through this part. I'm just going to mix the paint and the uh, pouring medium in my containers. Um, hmm, let's just do circles. Okay. Now we're going to tilt. I have an awful lot of paint on here. Some of this black off of the side down here. <laughs> there we go. I kind of like that one. I like this part right here. But, right. Okay, so I've let the uh, little art projects dry a little while, so now we're going to take a look at them and see how they did okay this is the one that i used um the um school glue in just glue and um it's it's really pretty i like it i like how it turned out it doesn't have any shine to it it's nice and flat um and i think it was great for a first attempt and this is just using the um school glue from dollar tree and here's the little jar that we uh, that I poured on. I love how it turned out. Um, the paint is a little flat and it's not shiny, so I am gonna um, spray paint this with some clear coat to give it a little shine. So um, I think that turned out great. Now this is the one that I was worried about. This is with the um, Dollar Tree pouring medium, and this is dried uh, 24 over 24 hours, and it's still slightly tacky i mean it's dry but it still feels a little little sticky and the paint got really thick when i mixed it with the pouring medium but it turned out really great it has a nice shine to it and i like how the colors didn't blend quite as much on it as it did with the one with the glue so that one turned out really good and then here is the jar that I did um, and I did make a mistake when I did this jar I should have taped off the threads at the top um, but I didn't so I took an exacto knife and tried to cut around it and it turned out pretty good I got one little place that I kind of messed up on if you can if it'll zoom in on it you can see where I kind of pulled a little bit of paint off of it but um, I think for a first attempt it turned out really good and like the painting this one is a little bit sticky so I'm going to clear coat it with some acrylic too and see how it comes out. And then here is the little dollhouse picture that I focus. Come on camera. Don't focus on me. Focus. I don't know. My light's bad. But um, it turned out really good. Kind of spooky looking. So I am going to put put it in my in my dollhouse. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if it was no i don't the light just my lights are terrible y'all i need better lights but um it turned out really good and it's got some swirls in it i wish you could see the um 
metallic paint better in it, but you cannot. And then this is the last one. This is the one that I used the ap apple barrel pouring medium. Um, it turned out with the nicest finished end. It's not sticky. It's nice and smooth and it's very shiny. I don't think it needs a top coat on it and the metallic paint still looks metallic if you can see down there. I think it looks kind of spooky. So I will be using these in some type of Halloween craft or something. But um, I really enjoyed the paint pouring. I want to do more of it. Uh, my sister sent me a text. And I was telling her about it. She said, for God's sakes, don't paint everything in the house. So I'm not going to paint everything, but I am going to paint a lot. So if y'all want to see some more poured paint from an absolute beginner, um, give me a thumbs up and I'll do some more. I really enjoyed it. And I think any of these would be great. This is the most, well, both of these are very inexpensive. These two, um, this was just with a bottle of school glue and this was with the um, pouring medium that I found at my Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree paint. And I did notice something when I was looking at my paint. The green paint I was using was actually the uh, washable paint. It wasn't acrylic paint. It was some kind of washable finger paint or something. So, But um, that might be why there is no green in this one. There's no green in this one, and this one has the faintest amount of little green specks in it. So, um, I will, the next one, try to make sure I use all acrylic paint. But anyway, if you want to do it to have lasting, and you don't want to have to clear coat it, I would buy the um, better grade pouring medium. This was apple barrel pouring medium that I got from Walmart. I think it was... I got a huge container of it because they were all out of smaller containers, but I think it was like $12, $12 to $15, no more than that. Um, and there are several different brands at, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever, but this um, turned out really good, I thought. But I thought that the, um, I think that the Dollar Tree one turned out really good too, so <laughs> this is great. And uh, you can have fun with your kiddos or you can try to create some art. I've watched so many videos and so many different ways you can pour it through things or colanders or strainers or put a comb through it. But it's a lot of fun. So y'all get out there and if CC can do it, you can do it too. Go get something and pour some paint on it. Y'all have some fun. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.